Hi everybody, Greg here. This week I'm going to veer off course. This isn't really 3D archery related, but it's still archery related. I go to a dude ranch sometimes and they have this archery range there that people go out and do. And it's a really neat thing to watch their people for their first time shooting and see what their experience is. And what I found is the most common complaint is the string wearing on their fingers because they don't have tabs. You know, having a tab at a dude ranch isn't really good because people will be losing it. It's going to cost them too much money. And I've been helping the dude ranch. I bought them some Flemish strings trying to address the issue because these bows take a pounding. And what I did is I went online and I found a neat little product that cured their problem. And that's these. They're called no gloves. They're like a little foam molding that you put on. You slide it right over your string and I'll show you how to do it. It's actually very simple. The one thing you want to do to make it a little easier when you get your string is you want to actually put some bow wax on it. And what that will do is will reduce the friction so the no glove will slide a little better. And the next thing you want to do is get a section of wire. You're going to take your wire, you're going to fold it in half. Just compress it down, take the wire, run it through your loop. All the way up, make sure it's nice and tight. And all you're going to do is take whatever section you want of your no glove and you'll see the hole in it. You're going to take the wire, the two ends of it, insert that into your hole on your no glove. You're going to slide it down. I like to take my wire and wrap it around my needle nose so there's not much play in it. Then all you're going to do is slide it down and the hardest part is just getting it over the loop. Once you get over the loop, it actually slides fairly well. So you just wiggle it. There you go. I pull the bottom, I pull the top, pull the bottom, pull the top. And once it pops over that, that uh, loop, you see how fast it moved down. And once all you got to do is once you get there, you just let it go. Slide it right down and get it on your serving. And there you go. What did that take? 30, 40 seconds? One thing they do advise that you still use a knock. So this one would go on top, the other one would go underneath. It's a great thing for kids. You don't have to worry about them losing their tabs or gloves or anything like that. All right, simple little product. I think it's a neat little answer to a question for a very specific problem. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.